Well, hi again. This is Scott V on part three of my tour of our Iconia world. I call it part three. I'm not sure how many actual episodes I'm going to split these videos into, so I will probably, probably shouldn't call it part three. It's part X. Anyway, here are some of the other structures and experiments. This was originally my, my uh, glass lab where being in the desert with endless sand, that's where all the sand was processed into glass. Here's things that Rut and some of the other guys built that uh, even I don't know what they are. Um, we've had all these crazy adventures. Uh, very, very neat. Uh, here is, that's one of Rut's secret rooms. Somewhere out here he was working with farming. I swear he had a power station right here. Oh, uh, looks like some of it got damaged in either a horrible creeper doom or he moved it or this ch chunk just didn't load properly. Uh, way back there this tower was uh, one of his uh, layers. He did a pretty good uh, job of building this out. Might as well show it off. I don't remember the tower. I remember the, the palatial... Oh yeah, he did the like Washington Monument type thing. But he yeah really had fun with the uh, Greco-Roman ru ruins. The uh, fountain. Really pretty. And that's one of the few cases of micro blocks that I really enjoyed doing when we would do narrow narrow columns and then shaped columns like that. Certainly the micro blocks are, are super for that. But yeah, he had this whole thing going on and there's there's his secret lair and farms and just pretty being able to pretty much make anything that you can think of as long as it's kind of blocky. And in, in any case, somebody was asking me today, it's like, you know, is Minecraft going to get more realistic someday? And it it's just doesn't even make sense to, to do that because Minecraft is a world of blocks. I think it's hysterical that the sun is a block. I mean, what would you expect? It's a world of blocks. So anyway, uh, very fun. Lots and lots of different construction projects. There's my uber tree, that giant rubber tree way back there. Uh, gradually we've been taming this. This volcano has been the source of just so much, <laughs> so many skirmishes and attacks and ambushes. Here was supposed to be our main central uh, repository of stuff. You can hear timers ticking away on sorting machines upstairs. Because uh, the uh, doors were on such short delays, we found it easiest, especially when creepers are chasing you, to put the button overhead. Then you have time to hop through the door. But anyway, uh, Iceman did a really good job trying to give us a nice super uh, archive, you know, with backup, so when this one fills up, the next one will fill up. A nice super central area, but we just never got the, uh, the sorting. Sorting, sorting, don't try it. Don't try this at home. <laughs> it's just, trying to sort things in here is just insane. I just, yeah, I just think it's better to, uh, put some stuff in boxes and be done with it. And this was before we had the factorization barrels and some other things. This only real choice was tubes or pipes by the zillions, or of my street lamps. Now I can head back up here, but I'm going to detour to this. This was actually one of the earliest sections of the, uh, the area. It started off as just a tiny shack, but it ended up being a uh, the stone wire and computer lab room, again, all blueprints all ready to, to make. So it's the red power stone wires and timers, and then all the computer craft components. This one here is a particular sequence, the gear shop. Again, you make wooden gears. This one makes auto crafting tables because they use wooden gears as a component. From there you get stone and iron gears. Um, really, you know, again, it's a case where you can put these things in here, click, 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 click. You can, you know, right click half a stack, right click half a stack, and I mean, you can fill these in, but it's just so much easier to drop a pile in here, drop a pile in there, flip the switch, come back in a few minutes, and it's all done. So, gold and diamond gears when we need them. And here is pistons and redstone engines, steam and combustion engines, all blueprints ready to go. I'll come in and stock up all the common materials. So, 
basically to make a uh, steam engine now just drop off two stone gears and pull one out. So I like to pre-stock a lot of these things. Engines and parts all ready to go. So this was a multi-step area. And down below was another hall of uh, recipes. Out here is an area that took a long time to tame. This uh, volcano actually was cut off, bizarrely was cut off as a sheer rock face right about here. So interestingly, all of this layout in basalt it was added by me to make it look like the hillside was intact. And what that did was it gave me this gigantic hollow space inside to build, you guessed it, more factories. Now this is mostly railcraft. This makes coke oven bricks. Let's see, there's materials, need more sand. There's the coke oven itself, making cold coke and creosote. Oh wow, this is old. I'm used to the d new interface for years now. Boy, that is an old interface. Seems like years, but uh, anyway, let me uh, put in the chest here. Materials. So, oh, this was back when a single thing couldn't activate a double door. Down under here was a gigantic cave of doom that I also had to build over. Oh, Rut would leave little cakes here as presents here and there. Uh, this makes uh, coal fuel cells. Very long process again. That just, ah, it's really more problem than it's worth. You put pump the coal into the plus water cells as hydrated coal does. That gets compressed down and sent over here. The hydrated coal gets put into the H coal cell, and then you have to extract it and then fill your uh, your fuel cans, and you end up with filled fuel cans of uh, coal fuel. It's just that those are just way too just time consuming. I never really cared for that much. I tried it; it's a pain. And here was the new complicated railcraft way of making rails: creosote plus slabs equals rails. Through four rails makes a rail bed, then make the tracks over here, combine them together, and uh, all the parts and pieces you could possibly use. So, and here is the uh, what powers all the machines downstairs. They're powered by the uh, the fuel cans that they produce, and they do produce a significant excess. So, you know, one fuel can up here will run enough power to make about eight fuel cans, more fuel cans. Eventually you end up with more fuel than you know what to do with. Like everything else in this game, but uh, you never know when some new advanced uh, idea will pop into your head. Right now we're heading over into uh, Chrisville, where uh, Iceman started his little lair with the looming cool volcano in the background. I actually drilled out under the volcano you can see a little door there. I actually drilled underneath and made a little uh, meditation chamber uh, right next to the uh, basalt pillar running through the middle of that volcano. And you know, this is all Iceman stuff. I don't need, he's got under, underneath, he's got machines, power stations, went a little nutty on the uh, flames. But it's fun, you know, each player does it his own way. But we all seem to like the idea of having separate buildings for separate... That's actually a very neat layout. Separate buildings for separate processes. Dude really needs a fence here, because there's a lot of mobs out here at night. There's one. And of course I'm the road building maniac. The road out there goes almost a thousand block loop all the way around to the uh, cross islands. and It's really, really pretty uh, massive structures. Now here is our transit center. And I bet like a dummy I don't actually have a, a rail cart right now. The yeah, fact I know for a fact I don't have a rail cart. But uh, these are fun to make. I generally make these using the... what the heck is it? It's the mining turtle. They will make a nice uh, 2 by 3 tunnel and then you offset it a little bit and uh, make another 2 by 3 tunnel and uh, then you just have to chip away the corners usually with a mining laser and you can pretty quickly make these uh, nice epic uh, 
railway tunnels. Now for fun, I'm going to go up to Iconia Station, back to my main village. Look at this place. I meant to do more. Again, this was a natural pit, and I just had to start off by blocking off certain areas. So I had to block off certain areas to keep the monsters out. What the hell is that? Is that rain? Sounds like a machine. Okay, well one thing that this mod pack had that I was really impressed with was it had so one of the uh, one of the mods produced atmospheric sounds. And, you know, what that would mean, I mean, this is a little too atmospheric, but what it would do, if you were like at the seashore, you'd hear seagulls, uh, sometimes at night you'd hear birds uh, and other things chirping. I don't remember what mod that was, but I really enjoyed those those atmospheric sounds. Um, for now, being in the middle of a darn storm, I'm going to do a quick uh, tweak here. You, stop being so loud. Stop it. Okay, that should be more bearable. Uh, so, that's my main village with all of its u utility buildings and all of its industrial works.